Hey, Tim. Good to see you. Uh, welcome back. Um, just from last year into, into moving into the spring, um, just, you know, what are some of the things that as you look at this team, you were able to identify for improvements that you that you need to work on in keeping with fundamentals and, and all the things that, that are stressed in the spring? Um, welcome back, Dan. Good to see you. Uh, the, the thing that, you know, we always cons consistently harp on and we want to keep hitting is our, our fundamentals, just like you said. There's also got to be, you know, we're going to make an emphasis on, on actual playmaking because at the end of the day, that's the bottom line. Um, you know, it's all fine and dandy to be around the ball, but hey, when it's you and the ball, it's you and the quarterback, you got him on your arms, you got to get him down in the ground. So we're, um, you know, we're, we're trying to take that, that uh, what's the best way to describe that Evol evolutionary step, I guess you would say, you know, um, but just like you said, it, it's getting, you know, making, getting marginal gains from last year. Um, at this point, a lot of the guys that play, they know what to do. You know, we got to get it done especially in crunch time. We'll go next to Andy. Hey, Tim. Hope you're doing well. Um, I was just wondering, you know, getting transfers like Jaden and Isaiah, what's that been like in terms of leadership for this defense? It's been really good. Um, I think I think you can imagine how a, a transfer is feeling when they're coming into a, a new situation and they don't really know what to expect. So it's, in my opinion, it's hard to, jump right in and, and be a leader right away until you know what the expectations are and what our culture is. So the, the first month or so, that's, that's all it was. It was, a, it was a big indoctrination into what our team culture is, what our defense culture is. And, you know, once now that we're on the field, you start making plays and, you know, you start um, popping out and um, distinguishing yourself to your teammates. I think that's the last part that comes, the, the leadership now okay now i can really verbalize myself and um hold people accountable at, at first it's all about your actions and then the next step is all right they know that i'm that, that i'm about my business i'm about the, i'm about that action boss all right now i can now i can get on guys so um you know so far so good i think those guys are on schedule to do that we'll go next to kevin hey coach good to see you again What's up, Kev? Not much, man. So, uh, obviously, you lose, you know, guys like Isaiah, guys like Max this year. Um, what's the message and kind of the mentality, you know, to kind of replace them? Because, obviously, you can't just do it with one or two guys. No doubt. And um, it's a good question. That's – that's I, to me, that's the beauty of our program. Um, we have a, a true program. Um, the, the train just keeps rolling along regardless of who – the people are, regardless of what jersey numbers are out there. It's still about for the team. It's still about tough love compete. Um, the message has not changed. It's just different people doing it now. The expectations are the same. And that's why I feel confident that we'll, we'll have success because, you know, um, are we going to miss those guys? Yeah, we're, we're going to miss them as people. But the reality is that's how it goes in the real program. Um, the next, the next man. We'll go next to Andy. You guys played a lot of nickel last year. I was just wondering, is that more towards the the depth of the secondary that you guys have, or is that more to the the scheme you're trying to implement? I, I think it's a combination of everything. Um, you know, we, we, we were able to implement a lot of, uh, game plans. Um, I think, you know, people by now have learned that, you know, we're going to, we're going to implement specific game plans to who we're playing. So, if, you know, if, if on a given week we feel like, Hey, we need to have the, these guys out there to have success, that, that's what we do. Um, you know, and at, at the end of the day, it, you know, with so much spread and, um, you know, or just speed from offenses, you, you want to try to um, match athletes with athletes the, the best you can. Go next to Dan. Coach, two quick ones. One is uh first off, how excited are you that Colgate is the uh is the opening game? <laughs> it, it's uh it's a little freaky and weird, but um I am excited. Um you know that, that place that place shaped and molded me. Um 
for a lot of what I am today. Um, it means a lot to me, and um, I'm excited to be able to compete against them because I know they'll, they'll compete against us. So it, it'll be it'll be a great challenge. It'll be fun. And and second is um, you know I, every single coach is back, um, which is kind of a rarity for just from from year to year. So for you to get into that room with with all the same coaches from last year. Uh, what's that like now in year two and, and how exciting and, and productive is it just to have all the same group back? You're right. It, it is rare nowadays. Um, it's just how, you know, this business this industry goes. You guys are going to get opportunities, especially if you're doing a good, a good job. And if you're good coaches and we have a bunch of those. So I feel really blessed that, you know, everybody was able to come back. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited that we're all on the same page on, on year two where we're not just, feeling each other out and trying not to step on each other's toes and, and all that. So all that, all that um, side stuff is out of the way and we can really attack it and get to business much quicker. So um, it's really exciting that way. We, we all know what to expect from each other. Um, we know what the standard is as coaches. Um, so, you know, we just, we're just moving along um, with high expectations, high standards and, you know, the goal is to to win and and give these and give these guys a positive experience and be able to compete every Saturday and that's what we're going to be able to do with the same staff. So I'm I'm really excited about it. Tim, that looks like it's our question. Oh, sorry, we have one more. We'll go to Andy for one last question. Uh, I was just wondering because you're talking about how the spring is a good time for fundamentals and you mentioned wrapping up and and I know you guys took a lot of steps forward last year. One thing that consistently gave you trouble was mobile quarterbacks. And I was just wondering, is the spring the time to really focus on, on wrapping up and getting to those guys and getting them down? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, just, just because that's, that's what coach Halfley believes. And that's what I, that's what I believe in. It's all about fundamentals. Um, a, a lot of the issues that we did have versus certain guys like that, we, we didn't do what we were supposed to do. You, you give them a little bit of credit, but, um, a lot of those issues are fixable and they, and they will be, and they will be fixed. So yes, now is a perfect time to work on them. And, you know, cause now better than last year, they understand why they were issues or, or why they became issues. And we've identified them. We're going to work on them individually. We're going to work on them uh, as a group. And um, now the expectation is to make sure we get it done on the game field too. Sam, thank you very much for all your time. We appreciate it. Thanks guys.